Danielle Delaquilla coming to you from my living room. Uh, I am with drjockers.com. I am his uh, online nutritionist. I work remotely with people all over the world to help them with their health issues, um, whether that be weight loss or hypothyroidism, um, gut issues. Those are my favorite ones to attack. Um, those are always uh, sometimes complicated, but sometimes uh, crucial to someone's health. Today, I wanted to talk about ways that I use as uh, means to be able to invigorate myself, ways that I appreciate um, being able to do at home because I work at home. I'm lucky enough to work at home um, when I am feeling a little bit sluggish and tired, which is kind of today, um, exercises that I do to be able to um, bring energy to my body, bring oxygen to my brain so that I can think better, um, so that I could help you all better. So some of my favorite ways are pretty simple and I thought I'd share them with you today. The first one um, I learned in yoga years ago. I've been doing, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> practicing yoga for about <clears throat> 20 years now. Um, I'd say the past 10 years I've been doing um, weekly. Excuse me, I have a little frog in my voice. But anyways, it's, it's a simple, simple practice that is used um, in many um, varieties, many, many types of yoga, and it's called Ujjayi breathing. And you sound a little bit like Darth Vader when you're doing it, but every time I feel a little tired or sluggish, instead of going for that cup of coffee, I practice this breathing first, and I notice that it brings clarity to my brain. It brings oxygen to my brain. It probably brings lots of great oxygen to my vital um, organs, such as my uh, heart, obviously my lungs, my digestive organs, things that really, really thrive on getting good oxygen to you. So how do you do Ujjayi breathing? It's all through the nose and the back of the throat, and you do it with a closed mouth. So it's inhaling and exhaling. And when you're exhaling, you are keeping your mouth closed, but you are constricting the muscles in the back of your throat to be able to sound like Darth Vader. So inhale, exhale. I hope you can hear me. I sound a little bit funny, especially when I'm doing this alone in my living room, but I, I really wanted to share this with you. So what I'll do is kind of put my hand on my heart and one on my belly, and I'll inhale deeply and exhale, inhale, exhale. And I try to do this about 10 times and nine times out of 10, it does the trick. Um, when I'm looking for a little more oxygen flow, I will follow that with a sun salutation. So I do this breath for about 10 times, the Ujjayi breathing, and then I'll follow it with my sun salutation. So anyone who's done yoga before understands what a sun salutation is. So I'll sit here and stand here and do the breathing. And I put my hands in my heart and I inhale and I use that same Ujjayi breathing. Inhale, exhale, Ujjayi breathe. And then inhale, look up. Exhale, come down, Ujjayi breathing. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So that is the first part of the sun salutation. Um, then you look up, inhale. Hands, feet come to hands. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up and exhale, hands to heart center. And I usually do that about two or three times. And that usually does the trick for getting the blood flow. Um, if that does not do the trick, <laughs> or if I'm feeling, um, if I'm feeling overwhelmed, if I'm feeling like I've been sitting for a good part of the day and haven't had a chance to be able to move around, what I'll do is I'll grab my handy dandy jump rope that I like to keep right in my hallway. I can't tell you how many times a week I pick up this jump rope, um, whether it's for five minutes in the middle of my work day to be able to take a break, 
um, to be able to move around. If I haven't had a chance to be able to go out and do my hike for the day yet, um, I'll just grab this just to get some energy out. We're not meant to sit in, in front of a computer all day long. Um, we're meant to be creatures that move around, that use our bodies. You know, we were we were given these bodies for a reason to move them. We weren't meant to just sit all day long. And, and I know we can all get caught up in our work um, and whatever else we might be doing during the day. So this is a good reminder to move your body. It helps really vitalize the brain as well as your body as a whole. So jump rope's nice and simple. It's extremely inexpensive. I'm gonna step back here because I have a ceiling fan I don't wanna hit. And what I usually do is count to 100. And I'll count to 100 five different times. And this usually takes me about five minutes. I've been jump roping for many years now as a way to sort of decrease stress, release anxiety. So generally speaking, I can go for a long time. I know different clients that I work with have a hard time jump roping. So I tell them, don't get caught up in needing to actually move a jump rope. If you don't feel you're as skilled with a jump rope, this totally does the trick. It's the same exercise except you don't have to worry about getting caught up with that jump rope. Or if you're me with bare feet, hitting your foot with the jump rope and causing injury to your poor piggy toes. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to share those tips with you today. I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. I'm gonna check out some comments here. Great, we have a... Uh, a comment from Dr. Renee in England. How utterly fascinating. I'm going to try this. I run a private practice counseling and it will be perfect to do in between patients and clients. Yes, Renee, absolutely. I was gonna say, for those of you who are working at, uh, out of the house, um, I'm sure that you have a ways to go outside for a quick break, um, or maybe you have a stairwell in which you can go up and down the stairs several times to be able to just create movement. Like I said, we're not meant to sit all day long. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, uh, Wendy Miller Case, great stuff, thank you. I'm so glad you appreciate it, um, Wendy. And you said, <laughs> I'm watching this in bed. I need to get some movement, LOL. Awesome, well I hope that this is the beginning part of your day, Wendy, and it's going to be a great way for you to start your day and um, bring some oxygen and some nutrients flowing to all of your vital organs and that you have a blessed day. Thank you all so much for joining me. Happy Friday. <clears throat>